Stanford University. I remember this one conversation right after uh, I launched the first version of Facebook at Harvard. There was like, you know, this is great that we have this community that now um, people can connect within our little school, but clearly one day someone is going to build this for the world. So one of the big surprises for me looking back on this 10 years later is that it actually was us, you know, who, who kind of played some role in, in kind of leading this and developing some of this infrastructure for the world. I think a lot of this, what it just comes down to is like doing things that you believe in and pushing really hard and some number of those will end up working out. I think we sometimes say great entrepreneurs see the glass as half full rather than half empty and they're willing to try to fix the rest of it. And I think you've got to have that vision, you've got to have that commitment. So in this very tech-centric world that's emerged here, I found it interesting to hear about your interests in the humanities and the classics. How do we think about their role and the importance of them in this world where everybody wants to start the next Facebook or the next Google or the next Snapchat? I actually wasn't a computer science major. I was a psychology major. And I just took mostly computer science classes. You know, I think a lot of times interesting work is done at the intersection between these disciplines, mm, right? So, absolutely. Um, you know, technology is a tool that you can use to solve different problems. But, you know, one of the things that I think you learn in college is that often picking what problem to go try to solve is a much bigger and more important challenge than even being able to solve the problem. Facebook and the whole social media thing has been such a big part of sort of the tech revolution the last decade or so since you started the company. If you look out 10, 20 years, what's going to be the new, new thing 10 or 20 years from now? One of the things that I think over a five or 10 year period will definitely exist is um, just like the ability to ask more questions than you can really reasonably ask a search engine today, something that we're pretty actively working on because we really want Facebook and this whole kind of movement of social apps to not just be about kind of sharing moments in the day to day, but also like real utility and being able to learn and, and solve interesting problems. There is only one university in the entire United States where you can get a Nerd Nation t-shirt. Please join me in thanking Mark for spending his time with us. Thank you. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.